welcome to another Design Clips here at W Plus 9. This is Dawn. In today's video, we're going to be doing a lot of embossing, glittered embossing to be more specific. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I'm all over the glitter this year, and it's perfect for holiday crafting. I'm going to start by creating my own glittered background paper. Thanks to the Misty, this is going to go super quick and easy. I'm also mixing some of our newer and older product for today's projects. This is the Folk Art Flurries stamp set. I love this set. This is a couple years old, but it is one of those just oldie but goodie staple stamp sets. There's gorgeous snowflakes in here of varying sizes. There's even a multi-step stamp snowflake in here, so you could use multiple colors. And it's a great price point at just $10 for this four by six inch stamp set. Snowflakes never go out of style, and I noticed that they seem to be trending this year. So to create my background, I'm taking multiple snowflakes from this set and I'm arranging them on the top half of my cardstock. This is gonna make creating a full background pattern super fast and easy. So once I've got them arranged exactly how I want them, remember I'm only worrying about half of the cardstock at this point, I'm going to pick them up on my misty door and then I'm gonna ink these up in Versamark ink. First, I'm gonna treat it with an anti-static bag this will just keep any of that embossing powder from sticking to any moisture oils from my hands or static on the paper. I'll stamp that down and I must have been having an aggressive day this day, guys. Um, you don't have to press this hard. I don't know. I had some aggression to get out apparently. <laughs> but you're going to stamp that. Then you're just going to flip your cardstock. Remember, we arranged it to cover half. I'm going to check to make sure that I've got my paper just where I need it and I'm just going to adjust that paper as necessary. I'm leaning in to look at the side so I can see where the Versamark already is and once I've got that paper to where none of my snowflakes will overlap, I'll just ink up again and then stamp that down. There I go again. I must, like I said, I had something to work out that day guys. So now I'm going to cover this with some glittered embossing powder. This is WOW's Clear Gold Highlight Glittered Embossing Powder. This one's gorgeous. It's got a clear base of embossing powder and then gold glitter mixed in. I particularly like this on the larder, the larder, the lighter colored card stocks versus the darker. But again, it's all personal preference. Make sure I get that all covered, knock off any excess, and then I can set this with my heat tool. It's gonna melt that powder and trap that glitter into the melted powder, and you're gonna end up with a gorgeous glitter background. Here you can see in the light how that shimmers. It's just beautiful in real life too. I decided since I already had it set up, I'd make multiples. So here I'm using WOW's Fool's Gold Embossing Powder. This is another gorgeous one. It's a gold embossing powder base with rose gold glitter in it. And this one, it shifts from rose gold to gold. Again, another really beautiful, beautiful embossing powder. And while I was at it, I figured maybe I could make up some of my own glittered embossing powder. So here I've got some Stampendous Pearl Luster Embossing Powder. This one is... This one is the Pearl Luster Sapphire. And what I did was I just poured equal parts of this into a little bowl here. I didn't have any extra containers, a bowl would do. And then I added my own glitter. This is from Sprinkle and Sparkle, Sparkle and Sprinkle. And this is their Priceless Peacock. I've had this for quite a few years, but I thought that it would complement that uh, Sapphire embossing powder beautifully. I just mixed that up And then if you need to, you can add more glitter to it. You can add more embossing powder. It depends on how sparkly you want it to be. I'm gonna create some glitter paper here to check it out and see how I like it. I'm covering a piece of cardstock with some Versamark ink. I'll sprinkle that on and then heat set that. I decided that I did like the way this one looked. So this is the one that I went with. I knew I would need some glitter paper anyway for the next steps of our cards. So having this glitter paper already done, wasn't a waste. I'm going to use it, but I did create another snowflake background using this embossing powder. This is just another way, if you don't have any glittered embossing powders, I'm sure you have loose glitter on hand and you have embossing powder, you can easily make your own. 
I love all of the purple, the blue, and the green that's reflected in this. Here you can see it up close. It is just beautiful. So now it's time to make our focal point. And for that, I'm using our Holly Jolly die. I'm going to use this large label die, and I'm going to die cut that from our oatmeal cardstock. That's what we stamped our background on, and that's what our card base is going to be. We're going to keep these pretty monochromatic. The only color is going to come from the heat embossing. I'm also going to add some dry embossing to this card, and we're going to use the simple snowflake die to emboss a snowflake into this label. Now when you're embossing with your dies, you may have to play around with your sandwich construction a little bit to get the perfect amount of pressure. So I'm leaving this trial and error part in the video just to walk you through my trial and error. I've swapped out my magnetic base for my original platform and I've got both tabs open. I've laid down my rubber embossing mat and I can tell right away that that's really loose and I'm not going to get an impression. So I'm gonna close those top two tabs lay down my embossing mat again, my label and my die, and then I'm gonna put my cutting mat on. I'm running this through and I have some pressure, but it's still really easy to run through. I'm going to just kind of peek at it, see what I've got, and I decided that I want more. I want a, a deeper impression, so I'm gonna swap out that cutting plate for the hard black embossing mat. And as I'm sending this through, I've got really good pressure. It's not too difficult to run through, but it's not too easy either. And this is going to give me a really beautiful impression. On to our glittered snowflakes. So remember the blue glitter paper that I made earlier? Well, we need the gold version and we need the rose gold version as well. So here I'm just creating the gold version, covered some paper with Versamark, sprinkled my embo embossing powder on, and now I'm melting that. And here you can see just that gorgeous shimmer that you get. And this is going to be beautiful with those snowflakes cut from them. We're using the Snowflake Trio die to do that. Again, this is another older die. I'm gonna use the largest snowflake and then the middle sized one. We're only gonna cut the large snowflakes from the glitter paper though. I've thrown in a paper shim because we're cutting through glitter paper. I wanna make sure that we cut all the way through that. Those can be more difficult sometimes. Go ahead and release those, and we are ready to die cut the smaller snowflake and then our sentiment strip. We're gonna cut those from oatmeal cardstock, and for that sentiment, I'm using our holiday presents die. It's just this banner that has happy holidays cut out of it. Go ahead and send those through my Big Shot, and now we're ready to put together this layered focal point. I really love to use a wow element like embossing, foiling, or glitter with clean and simple cards. It just kind of takes them up a notch and makes them special. We're going to layer everything one on top of an on one on top of the other for our focal point. And to adhere everything, I'm going to be using some multimedia matte. This is super strong adhesive and dries clear so you won't be able to see it if we overdo it in some areas. I'll put it just on the center of the snowflake and adhere that directly over the center of our embossed snowflake and adhere our smaller snowflake directly on the top of that, again, using the multi-medium mat. For the gold one only, I added a metallic little thread nest here, and the loose ends were bothering me, so I added a little bit of glue to the center and then pulled those ends into the glue. And this is gonna hold those, those end pieces securely in place and you won't be able to see them. It keeps everything compact and right in the center and just cleans it up a little bit since this is a more clean and simple design. I adhered that Happy Holidays banner directly over the center of that with some 3M foam tape and the 3M foam tape will also hold the rest of that thread nest in place so we don't have to worry about it going anywhere. And finally, this step is completely optional, as is the whole card, honestly. <laughs> but if you are not a fan of these crystals, I don't know why. I'm obsessed with these jewels. I'm putting them on everything. These are the April Crystals by Studio Katia, and I am adding a sprinkling of those around using some multimedia matte. And that finishes up these cards. For the other two versions, I did skip the thread nest, but if it's a look that you like, then you could definitely add it. I just wanted to show you that it looked good either way. And here is a look at the final projects. Again, we've got the original gold one. This uses the WOW Clear Gold Highlight Glitter Embossing Powder and the April Crystals by Studio Katia. I love the way this one turned out. This was the one that started it, but I 
equally love this one as well. This one we used the Wow Rose Gold Glitter Embossing Powder and the Rose Gold Jewels by Pretty Pink Posh. I was just amazed how well these complemented each other and it just allowed me to put the crystals on them again. <laughs> Any reason to put the crystals on. <laughs> and finally here is the Homemade Glitter Embossing Powder. And for this one, I used the Midnight Blue Crystals by Studio Katia and the Metallic Silver by Pretty Pink Posh. I was, again, pleasantly surprised at how well these went together. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you give this a try. Remember, you can find all the featured W Plus 9 supplies at wplus9.com as well as at many of your local retailers. I'll have all of the products used in the description box below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.